poor management, crumbling infrastructure, embezzlement and looting, especially during the two great Congo wars between 1997 and 2003, left MIBA crippled by that and at the mercy of plummeting commodity prices. From an annual output averaging 6 million carats, mainly of industrial diamonds in the early 2000s, production was no more than 500,000 carats in 2008 and half that in 2011. Rafael Mukade Shindundu, technical director of MIBA, say that mining has resumed with a view to relaunching with the help of the government and the $5 million a payment given to the facility by Geka Mine. The $5 million was released in August last year by President Felix Shisekedi, who hails from the Kasai region. My aim has resumed with a view to relaunching with the help of the government. $5 million, a payment that Kekamin gave to Miba. The mine is operational, exploitation is underway, but at a minimal level. The Managers of the facility say the inadequate capital injection was to help Miba become profitable. If MIBA's activity had really resumed, we would have felt it. Life would have resumed. Money would flow. The government owes MIBA a lot of money. It does not have the will to pay this debt. If they pay MIBA, Kasai will be much better off. Set up in 1961, MIBA is 80% state-owned with a 20% stake by a Belgium company.